demoted and dismissed from Ashimoto school because of her genius. I think my school is the our housemaster and he called his mother and his father like the the you pass your way, I pass my way. I don't want no wahala. I went to do concert. If I had minded my business, this would <laughs> this is my own personal white wine. And if you don't agree, get out of here. <laughs> hey there loves welcome back to my channel cheers <laughs> you guys it's been a while since i did a sit down video and interacted with you i have missed you and i know you missed me if you've not missed me now you're wahala i don't care i care but i mean i know you missed me this is my own personal white wine and if you don't agree get out of here forget about it it's this it's my wine what I call it, I will call it, and you would have to accept it. Hello, okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So today, hmm, I just wanted to do a little story time, tell you guys about something. I'm sure you see from the title that I'm I almost got demoted and dismissed from Ashimoto School because of a genius. I went to Ashimoto School. Please, we do not say Achimota, Achimota school, none of that shit, bro. None of that shit, okay? We say Achimota. That is how we return. I'm as Motown in Accra, Ghana, for my high school education. And, um, <laughs> okay, devotion is definitely like, I mean, the opposite of promotion, which is reducing your rank. Or get, I mean, um, your rank being taken away from you, right? Um, which is to say that I had a rank and I was deputy senior girls prefect, girl senior prefect, whichever way you want to put it. Mrs. Adam, Beatrice Adam, was my headmistress, aka Chutu. <laughs> she was my headmistress. So if you, if you, if 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 you were in that school during her era or her tenure, then you know that um, is not easy okay so <laughs> this is what happened i was like i said i was deputy senior girls prefect okay <laughs> guys sorry 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 pardon me if i laugh a lot because the story still baffles me till today it's been six years no not six years i went okay it's been um yeah it's been seven years not so. Yeah, it's been seven years and every time I remember that story and the impact and effect, negative effect it had on me, I guess so pissed that something like that affected me. And at the same time, I laugh. Okay? So this is what happened. Mm -hmm. Bring up your ear. Let's let's listen. Let me sing. Okay, let's continue now. Where on is this? Lord, I just had my okay. You can't blame me. Hey, Kinky. Hey, my Okay, I think I'm high on Kinky. Ah, it's likely that a Kinky or Banku was fermented because I feel, I feel high right now. All right, let's continue. Okay, so basically, I became a prefect. We're new, like, I think two weeks or so. I don't really remember. So there was this other prefect. I don't want to disclose what prefect she was because then people can do their uh, inquiry. She was a female prefect and we were all, you know, a group of prefects. And um, we were fresh from like orientation and all of that shit. Like our first week or second week, I don't really remember, but we hadn't been prefects for long and we're still trying to figure the thing out. You feel me? Okay, so, um, hmm. you know how prefect, uh, we wait for everybody to finish dining before we leave, most of the time at least. Um, the most of the house prefects leave before, but the rest of us mostly spend time and some people eat after, etc. So we had finished dining, okay? Now, let me chip in this. 
okay Achimota has one of the best well i would say from from my time what i heard and what i think people were stating was that Achimota had one of the best meals for senior high schools i mean government senior high schools in ghana <laughs> now for real though for real though i mean it's not like the food was really good because right now if i think about the food i eat now or the food i eat in my house and that food they were doing for us you obviously know that mm -mm, that food was trash but when we are measuring trashes there's bin trash and there's boiler trash okay so achimota school food is the bin trash and the other things that the other schools are called themselves schools this is the trash trash food you feel me that's the boiler oh stop stop let me take it again so i'm saying achimota food was bin trash or bin food but you know the other places that call themselves schools those ones where the boiler trash food Preach! Please knock out for me! Knock out for me! I'm not going. To, I'm not about to die for Ashimota School because Ashimota School didn't die for me. Okay. So after dining, the siesta or rest hour, what we call rest hour, that's when like you have is it thirty minutes or twenty minutes of nap of a nap. I think sometimes it's really useful. It's a good idea because me, I think it helped me a lot. But for some people, they they will not be able to sleep and be chatting. But me. As usual, I'm the sleep queen. Hell, the sleep queen. <laughs> yes, I really used to enjoy siesta or rest. Uh, yeah, but then it wasn't all the time that I was sleeping. So that day, um, there were form ones who had come. I think we were now in form three or form two. Yeah, I think we're in form three. Okay. Yeah, I think the form ones had come. So, um we were leaving to our house okay i was in clark house <laughs> i was in clark house and um so i was working with a couple of the other prefects so there was one there's this the one i'm talking about there's this let's call her ama okay so uh, if i say ama there was a, there was a prefect called ama you let's just use ama because she's not called ama so ama is a prefect yeah and she's 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 around my house area if i should say i'm in clark there's lesser there is kingsley so those are the three houses around my department of my area if i should say basically those houses were close those are girls houses female houses so we're all on our way to our place our house and this is from one boy you know, guys, I, I went to do concert. If I had minded my business, this would. <laughs> but I don't regret it because I'm like that. I'm, I'm a bit strict with my leadership anyway. So, um, there was this genius, this form one guy, like a Nino. We call we call new form one students Nino in my school. He was a Nino. You've come to school fresh. You're a prefect, or not a form three person plus prefects. It's telling you something to do and you're treasuring your home on him. So I'm like the busybody. I was a busybody, yes, but yes. I'm like, ah, yo, he's not minding you. It's like, yeah, I told him to do something, he didn't do it. So I got pissed. I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? And I went to interfere. <laughs> oh that for no, but I mean a part of me should have just minded my business but at the same time when you are a superior or when you are a supervisor of a couple of people or when you're a leader you don't just watch things happen because if something goes beyond it right so um i kind of interfered and i punished this guy to kneel down also I, guys i don't really remember the story but i think i punished him to kneel down for a couple of minutes it did really take a lot a, a while and because i was getting close to the end of rest hour i'm like yo get up and go so i think he was in gajesberg house or Jenfi house One, yeah, i don't remember actually you know they here <laughs> okay so i told this guy to get up and i remember at the time i punished him to kneel there were a couple of 
people from his house, you know, the men, the boys' houses, usually they all go in the same direction. They were passing by and they saw it. And me, I don't care, seriously. Yeah, so um this guy, we all everybody said we all separated. I don't I already punished him for a couple of minutes. Kneel down, you're up. That's it. And um I went to my guys the guy was very disrespectful let me even reiterate that he was very disrespectful apart from the fact that he had not even minded the other prefects that asked him to do something he didn't like he was being really disrespectful to me talking back and you know like all of that stuff and i hate to be disrespected because i respect myself and i try to respect other people no matter how older or you know how much of a senior or junior i am okay so um i was very angry i was very angry and i think i don't really remember but the the, the kneeling went to something else the details i cannot remember but let's just say we all went to our houses okay next day i'm hearing things i had this friend this really close friend in one of the houses so um, we usually meet after dining or after school just to talk he walks me to my house and back you know, friend please friend <laughs> let me just say he was like really very really close friend so he's like really i'm hearing things i'm like Yo, what are you talking about he's like yeah the guy he punished i was like oh guy because me it's not something i'll keep in my head guy now punishing on he went to tell our housemaster and he called his mother and his father like the the all i'm trying to say is that this boy after he had been punished to me he went to his house called his parents i think he's one of those people that had like really influential parents he called his parents the parents called the house master like you get the line of the story basically not my she. i was a mess fucking mess i'm like bro what you talking but you know i didn't know anything about it and when my friend told me that i was like really yeah, so I think the house master went to tell the senior house master, and basically it just got to the headmistress. So I was called in, and I was hearing a lot of whispers because I think the thing has spread that I punished this guy, I couldn't tell his blah 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 blah. So like rumors and whispers and stuff in the school. Not that me, yeah, I was particularly bothered, but like I became very scared because if you get demoted, it goes on your CV you know things like that right like it goes on a record basically and i was very particular about my academic and leadership life because okay little secrets <laughs> i didn't want to go to school in ghana i wanted to do um a different course outside of ghana so i knew that i needed to have extracurricular activities i needed to have leadership skills etc and i did not want it to go on my record I was so scared. Hey guys, that day I fasted and prayed. Oh, eee, let me show you. I was so scared. Where it should be when trick and smooth hair. Okay, now about fun tree and tree tree jump jump Yeah, basically. So I was really scared, and I was in class, and um, someone came to call me. The headmistress is calling me. You know, as a prefect, you, you get like some sort of exclusive interactions with the headmistress and some board of directors, members of the board. Let me see if that way, members of the board. <laughs> members of the board. Yeah. But you're so scared. See, people will tell you, no matter how close you are to the woman, it's quite scary. A collage is there. Choto is there. Oh, Jesus. I was really scared, but me i'm a dish you cannot scan me so i had someone came to call me i'm like okay and she's calling me okay all right let's go so i went to the office and guys it was a whole interview so we're hearing blah 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 he punishes person and this 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 that this that they were asking me a lot of questions and did you know about bullying policy i was like bullying 
guys they said i had bullied the guy because i punished him as a prefect not just any prefect a deputy senior girls prefect that's like close to the senior most which is senior prefect i'm like Achimota. he said what i bullied this guy how have i bullied him so i explained the whole audio how the other prefects had um asked this guy to do something and he was he was refusing to and he had disrespected me etc like it was just back and forth so, and they said i should go to get back to me hey she says guys my heart was beating i know for some people they don't they will not really care but those people are scary you know women in power sometimes yeah, it was a bit it was really really scary i went to my class that day i couldn't really focus in class couldn't answer my questions like i used to then um i think about a couple of days later i there was we have this we have notice boards around and there's a main one at the administration block so if you've done something and you're being taken to the disciplinary committee which you call dc you see your name there so i was scared i was scared i was scared i was scared I'm like, hey, God, so my, my record has been tainted. Three years of the school, I have tried to do my best, do try to avoid trouble. Now I've been taken to DC. I was so scared. I thought, hmm. And, and you know, sometimes when the, it's, it's like, it's like, it's, it was likely that I could even get, it was likely that I could even get a dismissal. I was really scared. But then, it was a 50 50 thing because i was even in my final year if i was in first year maybe but i was in my final year almost writing was the end that was the hope i had that maybe they will not they will not um dismiss me but i was really scared about the demotion thing <clears throat> and i think a couple of days later they called me i was really cool with teachers with my teachers and like some of the administration members so i basically even though i was scared i was a bit calm because i knew they would put in a good word for me yeah not to boast but i was a pretty good student and i had a really good relationship with my teachers <laughs> all right so um a couple of days later i go and they're like blah 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 bully something something it's just i've tried to avoid things like that i'm like okay but yeah there was no demotion and there was no dismissal and i was so excited but one thing i learned and one thing i didn't do after that time is punish anybody's child because me i try to punish you i want to get into trouble hey i didn't do but i guess it's just a policy in my school i think my school is db people say it but i think it's it's true my school is kind of db it's a government school but it's kind of db because i know in some schools especially in boys school someone will be too which i'm not i'm not um advocating for supporting but someone will be too a senior will be too or a senior would punish you in some form and nothing will be said about it you're free to go but then I just punished this boy for for this for disrespecting two different prefects, and I almost got demoted and dismissed. So I think Shmota just has a different policy. I don't know how it is now, but it's past and gone. But in the next life, if I see somebody's child make this, making noise, stressing, being disrespectful, doing something bad, you pass your way, I pass my way. I don't want no wahala. No demotion, no dismissal, no just thing. First of all, this mother will come and call, call me. In. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really bad experience. It was scary. It was not bad, but it was scary. It was a very scary experience. And I don't think I would want that again. But I'm glad I've learned my lessons. And I'm glad about my growth. I'm in law school. I've got wheels. I got called to the bar next year. I went through that, so it's an experience. We move, we move. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved it. If you went to Achimota School, let me see in the comments. If you were, if you didn't, if you even had a perception about Motown and this has changed it, 
let me see your comment like if basically comments i want to see you all especially my motel people my those ones that are in motel right now tell me your experience now because I had a whole different experience and I hear things have changed considering that new hemisphere. So comment below and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.